Superman is busy saving astronauts and ensuring the satellites that are falling towards Earth fall safely. Afterwards, he goes to confront Lex Luthor, who Superman believes cause. Lex denies this and reveals he is trying to help the world, unveiling plans to create a solar tower. Lex is then arrested. Superman flies t to the ocean where the eighth satellite l landed and he is suddenly then attacked by a s submarine w which was commanded by General Lane. Elsewhere, a mysterious man is discovered uh, uttering Lois, La Lois Lane's name. Superman visits Bruce Wayne in order to in order to try and get some help from him, unveils that someone similar to Superman's physi f physiology exists on Earth. Superman then heads to the desert where he confronts General Lane, and Lois goes to see see the, the mysterious man who uttered her name. As she heads there, her plane is brought down by a terrorist organization known as Ascension. It's revealed in 1938 the US government sent up a mathematical equation in space. The answer to this e equation came in the form of the other mysterious alien that has Superman's ph physiology. The government then forms a group called the Machine, which attempted to use rape as a weapon. Meanwhile, back in the present, Lois Lane crashes into the sea, but is saved by the mysterious man once more, who wields a blue crystal which can control technology. Lex Luthor escapes prison, kidnapping Jimmy Olsen. Whilst meanwhile, Wraith and Superman take on Ascension, who have attacked a nearby city. Using Russian probes designed to take out Superman and Wraith, by having differences at first, the, the duo work together and Wraith teaches him and Wraith teaches Superman how to use rapid heat blasts. Superman then learns Jimmy Olsen has been kidnapped by Luther. He also learns Lois's Lewis, plane also ha has crashed. Lois attempts to help the mysterious man that saved her. She is then kidnapped by Ascension, who are somehow connected to General Lane. In a flashback, we see Lana and Clark jumping off a, off a hail stack. However, something goes wrong with, and Clark ends up flying. In the present, Superman and Wraith try to, try to track down Lois. Superman takes Wraith to the Fortress of Solitude, where they can look for her. Meanwhile, Ascension reveal to Lois that the blue crystal is actually called an Earth Stone and they use it to a activate all of the nuclear weapons. Superman goes to save Lois, whilst Wraith goes to stop the nuclear war, heading to America. Superman uses the Earth Stone to destroy the nuclear warheads. He also defeats Wraith. Later, Lois and Superman analyze the Earth Stone, but are attacked by General Lane and his army. Wraith attacks Batman in the Batcave. As Superman and Batman fight off their respective foes, with Wonder Woman coming in to aid Batman, Superman defeats, defeats General Lane and then resumes his fight with, with Wraith. As Superman fights, he thinks about Wonder Woman, Batman and Lois. Superman defeats Wraith, 
then receives a message from Luther. He warns him about an invasion coming to Earth. Can Superman stop this invasion in time? Um, so Superman Unchained um, is written by Scott Snyder. I was about to say Zack Snyder there. Um, so this book is written by um, Scott Summers. Um, Scott, yeah. Um, and yeah, th this book is written by Scott Snyder, um, who does work on Batman. Um, and Scott Snyder does do a good job, good job in this book. Um, but right at the f right out the bat, I have to give a negative because this is something very important. Um, if you followed the issues. Um, and I have to talk about this because um, it factors into um, a, you know the problems that I had with the book um, reading the issues. Um, first off, reading it in volume, it's a lot better. But when you, but when, it, but when, it, but because I read this in issues, one of the things I found very annoying about this title, um, reading the issues, was the fact that this book was consistently late. Um, con consistently late. Um, and... It meant when when I read the book, um, you know, from month to month, you know, people who were following this story would have like these three, four months, five month gaps um, between these issues, and you'd forgotten half of what happened. Um, but Scott Snyder does give a you know, does do some very interesting stuff with this book. Um, but unfortunately this book does become a Trinity book towards the end, which is another huge problem for this story, is it becomes too much of a Trinity book um, and not enough Superman. So, now on to the good stuff, because there are quite a lot of interesting aspects in this story um, that were very, very interesting. Um, the book presents the idea about what if Superman had become a government weapon. Um, and we are introduced to a villain called Wraith, who, let's be honest, is sort of very similar to, to Doomsday. Um, but this character is called Wraith, um, and Wraith is basically sort of has the same abilities as Superman. And what's very interesting is how these two characters parallel one, one another. And a lot of the themes in this book is about weapons, about biological weapons, about building weapons to fight against Superman. Um, but I loved the the sort of parallels between Wraith and Superman. And Wraith is very much um, a what-if version. You know, what if Superman had become, you know, had been found by the government and turned into a weapon. Um, and what if the technology that Superman has, you know, was part of the army? And I just thought that the, that, that element in the comic was really, really good. Um, Wraith is a very compelling villain. Um, and he's much, much more powerful than, than Superman. 
and they can sort of do things that Superman can't do. Um, and in one of the most recent issues of Superman, Superman has just learned to do this like super heat blast thing. Um, I think it's called like Supernova or something like that. Um, and Wraith has sort of established that he can sort of do all these, all this stuff. Um, so this book very much promises us a expansion of Superman's powers, um, in, you know, for the future. Um, because Superman, because Wraith is basically a more powerful, um, version of Superman, because he's, um, absorbed at, um, our sun longer. Um, and as I say, um, Wraith is a very, very compelling villain. Um, and I really, really liked that character. Um, another thing that I, I really, really liked about this book has to be, um, has to be how Superman and Lois and Jimmy are all portrayed. Um, especially Superman and Lois. Scott Snyder, um, basically writes a love letter to all the Lois fans out there. Um, and he very much brings, um, the Clark and Lois relationship, um, sort of into the forefront of this, you know, of this story. Um, and it's very, very sweet. Um, Lois Lane is, you know, such a, is so nice when she's with Clark. Um, and I love the interaction between Superman and Lois. It, it felt like old New 52. Or pre-New 52. Um, at, and this book pretty much could have been written um, in pre-New 52. You know, it, it, in pre-New 52. Um, in a new pre-52 set, setting. Um, because the way Scott Snyder wrote this book was, you know, sort of belongs in that kind of storyline. Um, so I really, really like that. Um, Superman is, again, Superman. Um, he's just, he, he's a very, very cool character. And um, compared to, um, Batman... You know, but compared to Batman, I do think Scott Snyder writes Batman better. Um, I think he was a, a bit too um, overly simple with Superman. Um, and when he introduced Batman into the story, um, you know, you can definitely clearly see that he writes Batman better than he writes Superman. Um, so building on from that point, Batman is really, really good in this story. Um, I like the friendship that these two characters have. And, um, and, and this leads into the theme of um, of weapons that are being created to fight against Superman. Um, basically, the military Batman all basically create weapons against Superman. Yeah? Coming. Um, all fight against um, Superman. And I just really, really like that concept. Um... And it should be interesting to see whether the movies actually um, take that concept. Um, because it's certainly a very, very interesting, um, an interesting, um, just an interesting concept to deal with. 
Um, yeah, there were just there were just so many great moments um in this book, like with like um Superman catches like all these satellites in like the first issue, which was really really cool. Um, his battle with Wraith was really really cool, and and this book has so many great ideas. And I do honestly feel, had this story have been more cohesive, um, and had it not have all these different breaks, and um, I definitely do think that this could have been very interesting, um, a very interesting um, story. Because it was originally supposed to be an ongoing story, um, but it became a mini series after the book didn't do very well. Um, so I definitely do think um, it would have done very very well as a as an ongoing series. Um, all in all, guys, that's pretty much all I want to say. Um, my notes for this um, for this volume is um pretty scattered um so i would give this about a 3.5 out of 5 i think um no i would give this about a 4 out of 5 um great story well worth picking up so yeah um i'm gonna sign off here guys as um i've got some more reviews to do and I shall see you all very very soon for the next comic book review.